Today, we'll be examining the voice capabilities of the iPhone 5, which uses Siri, and the Samsung Galaxy S3 with its S Voice. Now, the point of this exercise is to see how each phone responds to a phrase which is not particularly direct, but requires a fair amount of interpretation. So first, we will say, I have a new meeting at 9 a.m. on Monday morning in the city. Now, this is a fairly long phrase that requires multiple tasks to be completed. Set an appointment on a date and time, and set a location. So, let's compare. I have a new meeting at 9 a.m. on Monday morning in the city. Okay, I set up your meeting for Monday. Are you ready for me to schedule it? No. To continue, you can confirm, cancel, change the time, or change the title. Cancel. All right, I'll leave it off your calendar. I have a new meeting at 9am on Monday morning in the city. Should I add this appointment to your calendar? No. Okay, speak your change to that appointment. Say save or cancel. Cancel. Okay, I won't save it. Next, we'll ask the question, do I need to wear a jacket tonight? Here, it needs to understand that a jacket is associated with weather and that a jacket corresponds to cold weather. Okay, let's compare the phones. Do I need to wear a jacket tonight? The low will be 12 degrees. Do I need to wear a jacket tonight? Let me do an internet search for an answer to do I need a jacket tonight. And finally, we're going to say, I need to get to the airport quickly. Now this is an indirect phrase requiring navigation without asking that exact request. So the smartphones have to work out which airport and then provide directions. Now let's see how these phones fare in this question. I need to get to the airport quickly. Looking for airports. I found three airports. Tap the one you want directions to. Getting directions to Sydney Airport. I need to get to the airport quickly. Let me do an internet search for an answer to I need to get to the airport. So there you have it. A look at how each phone responds to not so direct queries. Now, which phone would you choose based on these results? So that's our voice comparison with the iPhone 5 and the Galaxy S3. If you want to see our first look at the iPhone 5, click right here. If you want to see the iPhone benchmarking video against the Samsung Galaxy S3, click over here. Now feel free to share this video with family and friends. Remember to subscribe to our channel and leave us your thoughts in the comments area below. Until next time.